Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077. And last time uh, we came here to Denny's mansion and unfortunately her pool had been filled with concrete. So, um, well, we uh, we have to leave and, and wait for her to call us, which is fine, that's fine, because we can go and meet Judy. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get into it. Okay, so this way, off we go. I wonder what this whole thing with Judy is. I hope she's not, um... What? Assaulting... What? What? There's an assaulting pro... What? I don't know where that is, so... Alright. Okay. Wiggly, windy roads. Oh, this tunnel would be very nice on a real motorbike. Just saying. Perfect, perfect sound reverberation. Never mind. I actually went out on my bike yesterday. It's very, very nice here in the UK. It's very hot though. Whew. I was um, very glad to get home and have a shower at the end of it because it was roasting. But never mind. It was an enjoyable little footle out and about on my motorbike, which was good. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Thankfully, I ride a lot better in real life than I do in this in this in this world. I was actually watching um, Gopher play Cyberpunk just last night, and um, he was seeing how he could, how fast he could get his vehicle to go. I don't know how fast bikes would go. Probably pretty fast. Bikes are pretty fast. Okay. I wonder if we could test the theory on this on this bridge. So what are we at? 70, 80, 90. No, no, we're back down to 80. 90, 95, 96. I suppose we are going uphill, are we not? Probably be alright once we get over the top of here. Oh, there you go. There she goes. Alright, this looks like a reasonably. Oh, Jesus! A reasonably. Uh, good road to test the theory. So we're now, what are we at? 97, 98, 99, 100 baby, 100. Whoa, okay. Need to take it easy. <laughs> I don't know what Judy wants us all the way out here for. Good God, it's a miles away. Oh, we're at 103, 104, 105. Down here. Oh, yeah. 108. Oh, this is brilliant. I mean, I could have said something. Now, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say anything. I might incriminate myself. Not that anybody knows who I am, but, you know. We have speeding rules in the UK for a reason. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Am I not allowed to? Oh, I have to stop. Okay. All right. So, what does Judy want? Hey, Judy, are you there? What are we? What are we? What are we doing? Oh yeah, there you go. There's Judy. Hey, Judy. Oh no. For some reason, I thought she was stood here. I thought I saw somebody. Maybe it was Johnny just being his typical self. Good lord. Is there anything? Anything here that we can have? We can peep. This is kind of nice, though, isn't it? Kind of peaceful and chill. Hmm. Looks like somebody's party spot. I'd have at least cleaned up. You know, if you've got somewhere like this, clean up, man. Okay. Oh. There she is. Look. I thought I saw her. V. Hello. Looking good? Uh. You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Yeah. Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. Oh, thanks. Um. How are things at Clouds? So, what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We got a new situation and everybody's trying to adapt. 
Me too. Okay. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Well, all right. Uh, any news on the mocks? Any news from the moxers? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. Oh. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, why are you so mopey? Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Come on now. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? No problem. Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. All right. Okay. Well, what are we doing so here? So ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Oh. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm down a clown. Um, how do you blend two separate experience tracks? How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Mm -hmm. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Mm -mm. Uh, what we doing, yeah? What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's Easy. it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Yeah, all right. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? It's nice. Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Ooh. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. Johnny! What do you say? Are you scared of water? Amen? Yeah, why? What's up why with you? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. You can't swim, can it's you? It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Yeah. Um. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. It'll be alright, Johnny, I promise. Plus, it's my body that's doing the swimming. You're just watching. Think of it like a movie. You'll be alright. So is this, is this, is this something that I have to do? Oh, sorry. Alright. Get that booty of yours suited up. Alright. Where's the, where's the, okay. Um, yeah, why'd you choose why'd this you place? Why'd you choose this, of all places? Why? Don't like it? It's okay, but yeah. any special reason why you chose this one? Of course there What's is. Here? But you'll have to wait to find out what... Let's get this scroller on you. Um... Do you do this often? Do this often? What? You're in for something Nova, believe me. Mint diving. As often as I can. As for the rest, well... I'm picky about my girls. Oh, aren't we all? Um... You know, in another life, I have a very nice lady called Andreja. You'd love her. Hey, not gonna pike right, Okay, let's do this. Here, Whew, just freezing ass down, water. Right? Here I come. Okay, we're all set. All right. You go first. Do I need to? Okay. Bloop. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. What? Okay, Judy. All right. Yeah. Okay, so what we are we? Where are we headed exactly? Yeah, you lead the way. Halfway to the deepest point. I'll follow you. you. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Oh, Ought good. Be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Oh. Now I bother. I'll just stay close. Is to that you. a road? That is a road. Why is there a road underwater? Um. 
virtues are more to you than just the way to turn out eddies, huh? Yeah, seems like. Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Yeah, I suppose it is art, isn't really it? how any kind of creativity works, sure. Yeah. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. Mm. True, very true. This is like a whole... Why is there a whole road under here? What's going on here, Judy? Okay. Okay, we're going down. Going down, down. This is it. This? Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. All right. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. I mean, yeah, like this. Great motion calibrated. Now swim hither. Hither. Like here. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I don't know the title, but I can hum it back. No idea what the song is, but I heard it. Uh, it goes something like... Alright, we're all tuned and synced. And you got talent, girl. Alright, that ought to do it. Alright. We are now synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. What? Oh, 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 okay. What am I waiting for? I grab this and hold on tight. Oh, okay. Let's grab it. Are we going, like, down or down something? Down we go. Okay. Are we going? Oh, yeah, we're moving. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's dark. Oh, this is spooky. I kind of get why Johnny didn't want to come down here, but, you know. With Judy, we'll be alright. It's all good. Okay. That's a tree. That's a house! Impressive, huh? Why is there a house here? Um. That's, that's incredible. What is it? Yeah. Our very own Atlantis. Used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, I remember. NC Dam Limited made plans to build a dam. People protested, and the rest is history. Yeah. Houses, playgrounds, all flooded. Damn. Yeah, you got, got some, some connection, connection here? To this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Wow. I haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Yeah, why, why are you showing me this? Showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. This will be perfect for what exactly? Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Ah. Well, okay, let's let's go then. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Yeah. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Wow. Taking me years. Wow. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea it just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Yeah, I get that. Wow. Look at this. Whole town just flooded. 
Okay. Oh, sorry, Judy. and everything just left. Flo's Diner, best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. Okay. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Okay, well, let's just have a little look around here. Look at it, whole houses just... Wow. Wow. It's just... I don't know. See, I know there's a, a village that was flooded quite close to where my parents live and um, that was because of a similar sort of thing they were building a reservoir and they wanted the space and sometimes when you um, when the water levels low enough you um, can actually see the spire of the church quite uh, strange to think that people once lived there an old camera Can we pick this up? Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. Yeah. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Yeah. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. We'll pick it up. Ah, I see. So we can we can find other. Oh, what's that? An old hockey stick. Hey, hey, I can appreciate that. Uh, okay. Can we? Oh God, I'm stuck. Ah. Hockey stick. hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Ah. Quit schmoozing, Alvarez. We're losing because of you. Come in. You're dead meat anyway. Go out with me. Sorry, you gotta go. They're calling. Ah. That's kind of cute. Okay, so we can't pick up that. Anything else here? Around Judy's house. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Photo frame. Is there a photo in it? Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. No. Okay, so the sign's one that we can. Flows, eh? Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Yeah. Bigger family gatherings were great. That's where we even got real fish. <laughs> Liked sent fish more though. Real fish was just too stinky. <laughs> I like sushi. Correction, I love sushi. It's one of my favorites. All right, Judy. Do you want to talk? Can we talk? Hello. Ah, there you go. What about your parents? What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. We still have her picture, but you know, we see a stranger there. Yeah. Judy, Judy, watch out for her cuties. She can't even afford to have parents. Oh, that's awful. Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. Did you like living with your grandparents? What was it like? Living with your grandparents. How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Ugh, never got bored listening to him. Aww. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Um. Now I know where the temper comes from. Temperamental, huh? Well, that explains a lot. Dominant family trait? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. 
Yeah, where are they now? I assume they've passed away. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. Oh. I still go and visit them sometimes. That's cool. Um. Yeah, here. Have this. Have this camera. Here. Take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, oh, thanks. why? Why am I down here? Yeah, let's keep, keep going. going Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. All right, lead the way. Okay, we're going this way. This is very odd, isn't it? Very strange. We're looking for anything in particular here. Nah. Look at this. Can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. An old umbrella. What's that? A bottle or something? A hand fan. I don't really need a hand fan. Yeah. I'd imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Yeah. Mm. Bottled water? Probably. <laughs> touche, Judy. Touche. Yeah. Bottled water. Okay, is there anything else here? Run down cars. Hmm. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. <laughs> Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. <laughs> okay. What else is here? What's this? An old doll. Oh my god. Okay. This isn't yours. Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took a doll. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Oh. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Yeah. Let's keep going. I want to see what's further on. Come on, then. I want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. All right. Where you used to run as a kid. Yeah. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. Yeah. What's this place? Looks like a church. <laughs> church hasn't aged at all. Oh, so it is a church. Always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. What's that, a flat? Bells were cracked too. I gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Oof. Weird. I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. Yeah, I think I hear him too. I don't know too. how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? Mm. It must be a side effect. Yeah. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. All right. So I gotta find a way you inside. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know. Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? Probably not. <laughs> look around. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Found an opening. Think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Hey, found a way in. Through the roof. Through the roof? Oh. You found a way in through the roof. in here once when no one was around. Oh. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Yeah. 
back then, I wondered how he could read people's thoughts, know everything about them. And I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Oh, <laughs> bless her. Um. Didn't get chased off. Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared the living bejesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Jasmine. All that guilt I tried yelling out oh. flew right back in my face. Oh dear. V, please. Oh, thank fuck. You're alive. What happened? What happened? You passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? I don't know, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. Those people are a lot lighter in water. <laughs> so, you're saying you saved my life. <laughs> Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. Oh, shut but up, you Johnny. you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? Yes, that's Johnny. You? Heard him? Uh... Herds overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Yes, yeah, so please him. just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? <sighs> Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Yeah. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Eh. Uh... Say where exactly? Stay in the house? Where exactly? Are we gonna camp on the shore? Nope. There. Our cottage for the day. How about it? Yeah, maybe it's worth a Why the hell chill. Not. After our Yeah, whose cottage, whose cottage is, it? is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Is he gone? Padges yeah. literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Yeah. Okay. What have we got here? Sushi! Oh, can we? Can I eat it? I can eat it. I probably shouldn't have done. It must be chilled to the bone. News report. I'll brew a pot. Oh, we've already read that. How do What's you this? take yours? Crime block. We've already read that. Um. I will have a. Uh, I have mine black. Black, please. Like the heart of a merc. Yep, that's the one. That's how I do take my coffee IRL. Ah, forgot to start the generator. All right, well I'll go and start it. Hey. Uh, yeah, generator. A generator. <laughs> What's next? Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finish sauna? No. But there is running water. Okay. Well, I'll go and take it. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. No, I'll go and do it. It's fine. Promise to take it slow. It's turning on a generator. It's not exactly rocket science. I think okay. you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Got some serious surges from you a few times. Lovely. Okay. Hours up. Yeah. Your little spa is open for business. So be careful. Of course I will be. Wait, what? Judy? What the hell? What the hell? J yeah. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No. It was a thought. Nothing. It was a thought, wasn't it? It was a memory. That's what it was. You all right? Um. Yeah. You thinking about Evelyn? You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. 
Oh, God, what? Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. Damn. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Did he I didn't want to tell you. One of this to be just our day. I wanted. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I don't get it. Yeah. It's all right, Judy. I'm with River, though, man. You know, you're a nice girl and all, but what good would that have done? <laughs> you just think I was blaming you? Blame myself already. That's enough. Yeah. You are just out to help the dolls. That's it. Bet you'd be blaming yourself even more if you hadn't tried. Not like you could stand by and do nothing anyway. Not your style. Maybe you're right. I think I'll go lie down and beat. All right. Okay. Man alive. Well, you lie down, Judy. I'll, um, I don't know. Girl, this chick gets on my nerves. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Johnny. Yeah, why? Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people and that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. Oh. She reminds you of Alt, doesn't she? Mm. Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? What you and Alt had was pretty toxic from what I saw. Yeah. You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No. No, I can't talk to you when you get this sentimental waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. You started this argument because you are just as as clearly I just said are a narcissist. And what you and Alt had was was toxic. You you wherever you've gone. Well, Judy, you, you sleep well, love. We'll, we'll be alright. We'll all be alright. You know? Everything will work out in the end. But yeah, I, um, I'm with the river. And I'm loyal. You know? Not about just screw around. It's not what I do. Ugh. <sighs> Lovely as Judy is, and she is lovely. Okay, I need to put some clothes on. Oh. Am I dressed? Let me just check. I wasn't dressed, as it turned out. I only had a jacket on and nothing else, which is not exactly brilliant. Okay. Water, chrome, and blood. The fourth corporate war? What's this? It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the fourth corporate war began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploration corporations, CINO and OTEC. Both companies vied for the controlling stake of the failing IHA corporation. OTEC commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Sino, in turn, signed a corporate agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the Fourth Corporate War had finally officially begun. Yet, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proved subtle. Arasaka disables all Militech transport. Militech, allegedly, eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client. Both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations. Netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to sow so confusion. 
gather intel and cause chaos in stock markets. Though none would have thought it possible in those early months, the Arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardised the stability of the world economy, making the threat of complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to slow the conflict's pace, however. While Sino and Otec had unilaterally reached a settlement through peace talks, tensions between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise. This separation from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth Corporate War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. Arasaka and Militech netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they created lethal ICE measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to launch strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict, where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist, and mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare by cutting-edge weapons technology. Then, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the coup de grace came when an unknown group of mercenaries detonated a nuclear device at Arasaka's Night City headquarters. Shortly after the blast, bowing under increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cost. Hmm. Well, there you go. That's how it all kicked off. Uh, Judy, are you... Hello? She... Oh. Okay. Judy, are you... There she is. Hey! Hello? Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Oh, Good thanks. Morning. Lovely. You know... Yesterday, I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. Oh. City's chewed me up. And spitting me out. Um. What are you trying to say? The fuck, Judy? You saying you want to leave? Now? You know, had this bizarre combo with the doll. Told me I had to fight. And I thought, fight for what? And now, just when I thought I knew what it was all for, friendship, trust, you're telling me you're leaving. Whoa, V, chill. It's not like we won't keep in touch. Way too early in the morning for this sort of conversation. Give me your hand, V. Yeah, what for? Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. Okay. There you go. All said, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Oh. Whoa. Uh, asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, V. It's really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. Yeah. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. Oh. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. I'm guessing if we'd have, if, yeah. Okay, let's answer. Hey, gigs all set up, super sweet, like tonight at the Red Dirt. Cool. Talk to Carrie. Didn't change his mind or anything. No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Hmm. Still not on board. <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Oh, God. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm guessing if things would have gone a different way with Judy last night, she'd have stayed. Well, I'd be sad to see her go, because I like Judy. She's a good egg. And like I say, she's, she's, she's lovely. And if I wasn't with River, things would be different. But I am. And I'm loyal. Oh, she looks so lonely there, doesn't she? Well, we gotta go. We gotta go. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's call up the the uh, the bike and then um, hmm. go to the red dirt in the evening. Meet River. Hmm. You see, that's a thing still. Do we get to ask her about that, maybe? Do you suppose? Possibly. Go to the Revere Courier Services Facility. Ooh, hello. Maybe we could maybe we could do that at some point. Well we'll we'll, we'll go with the red dirt thing. See what happens. Okay. Where's my bike? Hello? There we go. Alright. Well, we are going to leave it there this time, folks. Next time we will go to the Red Dirt in the evening and uh, play the play the gig. But oh, I'll be sad to see Judy go. Truly I will. She was a good egg. And we'll keep in touch. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.